Football fans are getting ready for Super Bowl 53. Super Bowl 53. Super Bowl Bowl Sunday. Inches closer. I don't know if you guys heard, but the Super Bowl's in Atlanta. Football's like life. I love the Super Bowl, and I love football. We're on. Excellent. What do we call these things? All right. I don't have a lot of football stories. I really only have one football story because I only played football for one day. In high school, one of my groups of friends was guys on the football team. Walker Coleman, Carl Wallaroy, Bramlett Bradham, you know those guys. And they were like, hey, you should come out for the team. I'm like, I don't know how to come out for the team. I'm like, no, 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 it'll be fun. We'll have a lot of fun together. So I go out for the team. Training camp is August in Charleston, South Carolina, which I believe is one of the circles of Dante's Inferno. So I go out for the first day, I got my spot belt cleats, I got my half shirt, showing off that 17 year old, you know, stomach. I'm not saying they were abs, but it was flat and hairless. Oh, flat and hairless. I miss you. So day one, um, I'm a little late, I think. Carl and I are both late, so we're having to do wind sprints until uh, I vomit. Yeah, at the end of practice, we scrimmage. And coach is like, uh, you'll be a cornerback, you get over there, and we line up at the line of scrimmage. And right across from me is Bramlett Bradham, my friend, strongest guy in the school. Biggest guy, strongest guy, had the weightlifting record, might still have the weightlifting record. Had to shave like in sixth grade. Don't know if I'm making that up, actually. So, we line up against each other, the play gets called, he hits me, pushes me into the next county, and we line up again. Right before uh, the ball is snapped, the coach goes, hold on, hold on. Bramlett, there are no friends on the football field. You see that cornerback right there? I want you to kill him. So we line up against each other. Bramlett gets down and I get down. Bramlett looks up at me and goes, I'm sorry, man. And then he breaks me. Like Bane breaks Batman, but It was like Bane breaking Alfred, not Batman. So the next day, I couldn't get out of bed. I could not move my body. So I didn't go to the the morning. And between the two, I went to the coach's uh, coach's office and I said, Coach, I want to thank thank you for, you know, giving me this opportunity, but I just don't think it's my game. And he said, I don't think so either. Anyway, yeah, thanks for coming in. So I got to keep the half shirt, which I gave my girlfriend. You know, the girlfriend's the thing, to wear your boyfriend's half shirt to the beach. She probably still has it. I mean, I don't know if you still have it, Mackie, but I wouldn't mind having it back to prove the story's true. I doubt you kept it, I doubt you kept it, okay. And, um, and what I found out later is that for the rest of the season, if somebody in the team wasn't giving 100%, coach would go, now don't pull a Colbert. <laughs> All right, so no, I did not make it on the football team. So yes, I only played one day of football, but I went back to my other group of friends who played Dungeons and Dragons, and there I was fierce. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that worked.